to talk a little bit about the why, when, and how of fall aeration. So the main reason that we want to aerate in the fall is to relieve compaction. You may not have noticed it through the year, but whether you've been walking through the lawn, you're mowing, running that wheelbarrow, chasing the kids, the dogs running around, all those things are compacting our soil, which restricts the amount of oxygen and moisture and nutrients that gets to our grass roots. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna aerate the, the soil in the fall here, and that will help relieve some of that. So if you've seen any standing water in your yard, make sure you make a point of that. We're gonna aerate those a little bit more. If you have a path, if you have some thinning turf, all those are places that we wanna spend a little bit more time on when we're doing our aerating. The also, the other nice thing about doing it in the fall is we're able to do some fertilizing afterwards. If you do have some thin turfing, you wanna do some overseeding, great time to do it right then. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go out with a screwdriver, we'll check our soil, That'll help kind of identify some really compact areas and also our moisture to make sure if we need to put some, uh, run the sprinklers a little bit, make sure we have some good moisture before we do our aeration. Uh, that'll give us an indication of that. And then we'll go out and we'll use our aerator or you may hire to have it done. And what we're looking at doing is making sure that we're pulling out plugs of two to three inches long. That, that's a, a good sized plug and that'll help kind of recycle some of that material. Um, and also that'll give us a, a nice space to do some seeding and our fertilizing and all that. One of the things that aerating in the fall will help us in the spring is we won't have to worry about uh, the weed germination that we might if we've done uh, spring uh, aerating. Um, so doing this in the fall helps that fewer weeds are germinating this time at this time of year. It'll also help with uh, greening up the turf a little bit faster in the spring as well. You'll notice when you've aerated the lawn your turf is ready to go a little bit faster in the spring. So again, we want to make sure that we do a good thorough job. We've identified those spots in the yard that we want to spend a little bit of extra time over. Uh, it takes two, three, four days for the cores to, to break down. If they've dried out, you can mow over them and that'll help break them down a little bit faster too. So if you're, if you're worried about the mess, uh, you can do that. But let's not rake them up. Let's recycle that material back into our soil and that'll help get us off to a good start next spring.